Hey YouTube, um, this is the second part of part two of explaining Guild Wars aspect by aspect. Um, I got kind of cut off last time, so what I'm going to do is, um, just finish what I started. Okay, so... After you choose everything that I chose before, which is monk, and factions and everything, you choose hairstyle, I'm going to choose bald, and you choose hair color, and you choose, which there's no hair color since he's kind of bald, then you choose what his face looks like, there's a really limited supply of that, um, and then you choose his skin color. I, I like to choose kind of tan, but not too tan because I'm not very tan. Then, in the next screen, you get to choose um, the colors of armor and also his height. And every class has something on their head that you can choose to show or not show. Um, and with monks, it's a head tattoo that protects you. Because actually with monks, you can get this armor that's just a tattoo on your entire body. And, well, except for your underwear, of course. But, um, and it protects you. It's just like armor. So, I'm going to choose to show the head tattoo, and then you can choose the color of it. So I'm going to make my entire armor blue. So there's head which is the head tattoo, chest, um, hands, which are gloves, uh, legs, and feet. And then to, you can choose his height, and I'm going to make him a midget. And then you choose his name. There's four requirements for choosing a name for your character. The character limit is 19, so it can't be more than 19 characters. The minimum is three characters. It has to be two or more words, and it can only use English letters. So, no numbers. Yeah, no numbers. Anyways. Um, so I'm going to make mine plank space acorn. It'll automatically capitalize it for you, so you don't have to. Okay, um, and create. Okay, that's not gonna work. So I'll, I'll, I'll make it plank a core. Just without the N. And then it's gonna take me to the first place in Guild Wars Factions, which is the Monastery Overlook. So. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, the reason I'm making these videos is because I wanted something to show my friends um, I wanted something to show my friends that would explain Guild Wars to them so um, you know so I wouldn't have to explain it to every single one individually um, and I was looking and I didn't find any videos like that so anyways that's the uh, character creation. Uh, by the way, on Vista, or at least on my computer, um, Windows Media Center starts up whenever I close Guild Wars, which is kind of weird. Um, but anyways, I'm now I'm going to the Guild Wars wiki, which is a very useful site. I'll include the link in the description. Um, it can choose, or it can tell you about everything. But I'm gonna go to skills right now. And by the way, the other professions that are included with Nightfall are Dervish and Paragon. I don't really know much about each. All I know is that Dervish specialize in scythes, and Paragons kind of look like warriors. They might be they might be paladins or something, but I'm I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, 
So if you go to the Guild Wars Wiki, then you click on Skills. Um, it's going to tell you all about skills, and you can click on a profession like your profession, and it will tell you every single skill for your profession. So I'm going to click on Assassin. And there's three, uh, well, actually, there's four types of things involved which each, with each skill. For one thing, there's upkeep cost, which um, not many skills have upkeep cost. Let me see, I'm seeing two, three... Yeah, only three assassin skills out of all of them have an upkeep cost. And that's just, it takes away um, one pip of mana regeneration. I don't know what a pip is, it's just an arrow that makes your mana regenerate. Um, and then there's energy it costs to cast it or use it. Um, which I also call mana. Then there's activation time, which is how long it takes to cast it. And then there's recharge time. You may know this from World of Warcraft as cooldown or something like that. But um, anyway, so I'm, I'm going to go to my first um, skill. It's uh, something like Mantis Sting or something. Let's see. Oh, where is it? Oh, Leaping Mantis thing. Okay. Um, it takes five mana. Um, it doesn't take any time to cast. It casts instantly. Um, and it takes eight seconds to recharge. Um, also, there's Elite Skills, which are better than normal skills but you can only have one on what's called your build and um, unlike World of Warcraft where you can have like a bunch of skills all over the screen Guild Wars, I like what they did here they only let you have eight skills out at a time and your eight skills that you're using is called your build and if you have a good build then people will like you and if you have a really bad build then people hate you so, a lot of things depend on your build. I have a really good build, actually. Um, but you can only have one elite skill at a time in your build. And the one I have, just, um, just to let everyone know, is Flashing Blades, just as an example. Um, it says, Elite Stance. Um, at the lowest rank, it's 5 seconds. At the highest rank, it's 3 seconds. You have 75% chance to block while attacking. Block effect. Um, at the lowest rank, it's 5, and at the highest rank, it's 20. Um, damage to your attacker. So, basically, um, let's say at the highest rank. Basically, for 30 seconds, you have 75% chance to block while attacking, and every time you block, the person who attacks you gets hurt by 20 damage. So, elite skills are a lot like that. The, um, just most of them are just, they do a lot of things at once. But, uh, anyways, it looks like I'm just about out of time for this video, so I'll see you next time when, let's see, I'll explain towns and outposts. So, see you, YouTube.